Okay, welcome everyone to the normal Lich guide with no monkey knowledge. So this week we're playing on an intermediate map. This is Moon Landing. And Moon Landing is a very interesting map because these craters actually, as you guys already know, they block line of sight, which means that we need to be careful with our positionings of our towers. And we're going to do something different in this game. So as you guys can see, I'm using the engineer, which is something that I don't really use that much. Uh, I think that the engineer is an amazing tower but it kind of has its uses sometimes so i feel like it was it was a good idea to get the engineer on this map and then we're gonna go into another tower that we haven't used that much but it's perfect for this map um so you know let me just get to to what we're buying and how we're gonna play this out so normal obviously they're both normal and elite are both on uh on medium mode so that means that you know the economy is gonna be pretty much the same maybe i can improve on the elite one which is going to be coming later today uh, if you guys want to stick around and catch that video but for now let's just talk about the medium or sorry the normal one uh, which you know i start with an engineer going into ben as usual if ben is available we go for ben and then we're going to be going into a zero one zero zero one engineer so we need that pierce and then we're going to go into farming so the reason why i'm going for pierce before uh, getting the farms is because uh, i think that uh, you know we don't want to lose lives for no reason although we have a lot of lives and so i think it's better to just upgrade first and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, no issues in farming so going for a 200 farm i'm gonna greet a little bit uh in this one and i'm gonna buy uh a another 000 farm before doing anything with the ng the money is gonna come out you know right on time and as you guys can see i i'm kind of switching out you know between last and first which you guys can obviously do if you want to this is absolutely unnecessary for you guys to do uh but uh you know if you want to save some lives then do it so right now getting the 000 farm so that's two farms on the field i'm upgrading the ng to 002 so we're getting the pin and then i'm using ben's ability to save even more lives now obviously you know as i mentioned you guys are going to be playing with monkey knowledge you're going to be a lot further with farming you're going to be you know a lot safer with everything towers are going to be a lot stronger so there is no need to worry about anything so the ng is 002 getting for going for another farm so that's another 000 farm which i'm going to upgrade to 100 this is very greedy but you know i i got it down to 100 and then we're going to be going for the double gun so the double gun uh, in combination with the pin is just an amazing uh, an amazing combo these guys can yeah, this guy can just stop everything that's coming at you so that means that we have um, you know all of the time and all of the all of the money to keep farming so leaking the camel around 24 it doesn't really matter three lives and we're not even concerned about the lives uh, because ben is going to restore all of them later on so that's fine and obviously if you guys have the marketplace knowledge that restores lives that's going to be you know that's going to make everything even even that much easier so going for the first marketplace after five farms this is going to be the first marketplace around 27 and then going for a mortar and this is the new tower so the mortar is going to be amazing because this guy can do a lot of things uh, he can pop lead blooms which is the reason why we're getting him now around 28 but most importantly, he's going to reveal the camel balloons for us. Uh, and, you know, in combination with the Bernie stuff and the faster attacking, he's going to uh, he's going to be very useful for us. So uh, what you guys want to do here, actually, I, and I thought about this, this specific round and I'm going to fix it in the elite one. But you might want to get the range on the NG so that he hits these zebras because, uh, you know, obviously, you know, the mortar cannot hit zebras and black balloons. But if you get the range, which only costs 220, then you, you wouldn't have that issue. You won't leak any lives, but that's totally fine. You know, even if you leak again, you, you're totally fine. So, you know, keeping the marketplaces uh, going, I got all five of them, the marketplaces. And now this is the point where we start greeting a little bit. So this is something that, <laughs> you know, you don't have to do. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyways, and I think you guys should do it just to have a, a better economy later on. So I'm going for, uh, I would stop at six, actually six uh, 203 farms are fine but i went for seven because i wanted to greed out a little bit more so i'm gonna stop at seven marketplaces uh, our defenses are 003 ng and a 023 mortar at this point and i'm just using uh, ben's ability for the ceramic balloons around 38 and i think i'm gonna use it again around 39 so we kind of need to switch and and there we go i upgrade the range now okay so it doesn't really matter so using ben's ability around 39 a little bit of microing and we are going to have to buy new towers so i'm going to see you guys in a second 
Okay, so here we go. We are going to be defending with sticky bombs, a heli, and this is what we're doing. We so basically what I did is I usually uh, pause the game, so exit to main to the main menu, and then come back. And the reason why we do that is because uh, the game pauses, right? So we want to pause and we want to think about our defenses and stuff like that. So I went for a 204 ninja into a 003 heli, and so this is the thing. This is what I have to do. I have to micro the heli because. Uh, I um, I went for seven farms instead of six. If I had six, I would have had the money. But I think it's gonna be fine with you guys because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have monkey knowledge on and you're gonna make a lot more money than me. So it's totally fine. So two uh, sticky bombs, one zero zero three heli, which is being locked in place right there, and that's all we need to take down tier one. So after this round ends, so after round 45 ends, we are going to do the same thing. So going uh, to the main menu and then coming back to the game. So the game pauses and now we're going to sell everything that attacks basically on screen. Uh, we're going to do the standard defense, which you usually do. It, it is a 320 alchemist buffing a 204 overdrive and under a 320 village. Uh, of our farms, we're going to sell a few of them. So we're going to have two central markets and we're going to keep two of these marketplaces. And so... Something that's happening here is I upgraded the alchemist and I realized that, you know, this alchemist is kind of inconsistent. Well, not the alchemist, but the whole alchemist overdrive defense is a little bit inconsistent. But I'm going to talk about that in a second. Let me just tell you what I'm doing now. I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the uh, monkeyopolis first. So we're going to do a new farming style, which is getting a, an early monkeyopolis, which I call miniopolis. So we're going to get the miniopolis. We're going to sacrifice two central markets for it. We're getting it very early on. I think I got it around 48 or 49, something like that. And then we're going to keep spamming 4 to 0 farms. And the reason why we want to do this is apparently this is very efficient to do. This is uh, insanely efficient, actually, compared to normal farming. So that's why we're doing it. We're going to make a lot of money later on. And this whole game, if you're playing with monkey knowledge, I'm very confident that you can end the entire game by round 80. But... Let me let me just talk about the alchemist first. So, uh, if you have monkey knowledge, I feel like a three two zero alchemist is enough to deal with the fifties. Buffing a, a two or four dagger is gonna, you know, it has something to do with the pierce and stuff like that, and I guess how fast the potions are getting thrown. But it is not really consistent without monkey knowledge. So that's why I upgraded to four two zero. I think you guys should get it to four two zero. It's totally fine. So what I'm doing is I'm just spamming uh, four two zero farms around the monkeyopolis. These guys are making a lot more money. Uh, and you know that that's basically what we're doing. We're just waiting for the next boss, which we're gonna defend with the mad. Uh, but for now, I have five four two zero farms and the monkeyopolis, and the monkeyopolis is gonna go. So when uh, the uh, when the boss appears, when we have the money, the monkeyopolis is gonna go. It sells for sixty for forty six thousand. We need sixty thousand for the last one, so I'm just doing a zero four two uh, dalton gunner attacking here in the middle. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a four zero two boomerang and a two zero four bomb shooter attacking the second creator and that is because if you go into round 63 then you are going to probably need to defend you know these ceramic waves and the math is just not good at it so that's why we're doing we're basically doing this for round 63 but if you can pop it earlier uh, it's totally fine because we sell the mad anyways later on right so we sold the monkeyopolis we got the mad and then we're just focusing it down so the mad <laughs> doesn't really hit um that well because of uh, because of this crater but it's fine we take it down and so basically what we're doing now is we sell everything and we upgrade the attack shooter to the attack zone we give it a 420 alchemist the village is the same it stays right there and there we go we're just chilling now so at this point we have uh you know the uh, 104 at this time village which we rebought uh we're gonna have eight villages in the monkeyopolis that is going to be a forty thousand dollar monkeyopolis and that's pretty much it. So we're going to get it in a few rounds. This is super fast farming. This is super efficient. And you can only imagine how fast this is going to be uh, when um, when you have monkey knowledge. Like, I'm sure you guys can get it in like the early 60s, something like that. So going for the monkeyopolis, we're going to get it around 67. That's very fast, especially for no monkey knowledge. Uh, and then we're just going to go for the 520 uh, Banana Central. So the reason why I said that you can end this game at around 80 is because that by around 80, you can probably get like a degree 40 Paragon and that thing is going to defend itself by itself. And so that's it, it's something similar to what I'm going to do now. Uh, but uh, for the first one, so for the, the tier 4, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's not the tier 4, sorry, but it's the tier 3 one. Uh, we're going to do a degree 1 Dark Paragon. So at this point, we're just spamming these farms. Um, I'm getting the 5201, I'm getting the 0251, and I'm going to have it around 72, and then I'm just going to spam a few uh, banana, uh, ban not banana centrals, but uh, central markets, so 024s. 
And so the reason why I'm buying 024s instead of 420s is because if you're planning on selling the farms, you go for the bottom pad. That's usually how it goes. So I'm getting the uh, crossbow master. I'm gonna get the other uh, fifth tier darts, and at this point we're just saving up money. So getting the fifth tier darts, getting everything that you know that we need for the dart paragon, and we're just saving money. We're just collecting the money and waiting for the rounds to pass, basically. Uh, so that we get to round 80 and we can buy the Dark Paragon for this thing. Dark Paragon is going to be amazing in this map because uh, these Juggernaut Balls are going to bounce inside of the craters and they're going to do huge damage to so you. You guys are going to see it's just going to completely evaporate. And it goes, you know, it, it goes to show that these towers, you know, if you if you pick the map, if you pick the uh, well, if you pick the, the correct towers for the map, then you're going to have a lot of success. And we frankly don't have that many Paragons to choose from, but the Dart is really is really not nice for this one, right? So, you know, keeping everything going, collecting the money, uh, we have about 200,000, you guys are going to have a lot more money, but at this point, uh, I'm going to sell my marketplace, no, not the marketplace, but the central markets and the uh, Wall Street to get the money for the Dark Paragon, doesn't really matter because... Uh, you know, we, we're going to have the money anyways for, for for everything. If you keep the monkey opolis, it's fine, even if you have to sell something else. But again, I'm playing without monkey knowledge, so you guys are going to be way ahead of me. So there we go. That thing just evaporated. Like, we, we didn't even have a chance to, to talk about it. But it just it's just gone. It's just gone. So I'm just spamming a little bit of 420 farms, and that's basically the end game. So, you know, the, <laughs> the video is going to end in like a minute because what I'm doing now is three things. Number one is I'm spamming 420 farms. Number two, I'm gonna get ready for another Dark Paragon, so I'm gonna get all the fifth tiers and I'm gonna spam a lot of uh, 042s. And then number three, when the next one appears, so when um, the round 100 tier 4 Lich appears, I'm just gonna upgrade the Paragon and that's gonna be GG because that is going to be game over for, uh, for the fifth one as well. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second. It's so around 99, here it comes. We have a lot of Dark Monkeys. We have the fifth tier, it's gonna sell uh, the previous Paragon and then I'm gonna get the new one, which is degree 30, totally fine. Uh, you guys are gonna, gonna get a higher one. It doesn't really matter, 30 seems to do the job, as you guys can see very well. It just evaporates this thing, and that's basically what's happening. So I got a 502 sniper, that thing is on first. I got a 501 in this game, uh, 501 ice, which I just want to have the range, you know, uh, be able to peek inside of the crater so that it hits the boss, and that's why I got a 400 village next to it. And this is it. That is everything that you need to beat this boss. I'm going to end the video right here. I'm going to show you guys the fifth tier. And this is everything that you need to beat the normal lich. So I will see you guys later for the elite one.